The hydraulic jam tank basin USBR Type 3 is designed to dissipate safely the kinetic energy of the flow downstream of chute spillways through a hydraulic jump. The original design, seen here, consists of a horizontal apron, where the hydraulic jump takes place, equipped with a row of chute blocks at the upstream end, a row of buffer blocks about one third into the horizontal apron, on a seal near the downstream end. The stilling basin type 3 was developed for relatively small hydraulic structures, small dams, culvert outlets, with inflow fraud number greater than 4 to 4.5. The original Stilling Basin Type 3 was designed specifically for smooth invert chute inflow, inflow fraud number greater than 4 to 4.5 and up to 22, and unit discharge less than 19 square meter per second with inflow velocities less than 15 to 18 meter per second. One example of a stilling basin type 3 is shown here. Like most hydraulic jump stilling basin, the stilling basin type 3 has to operate within a specific range of tailwater condition, with optimum operation when the tailwater depth equals the conjugate depth. The tailwater depth is the downstream depth in the natural channel, and the conjugate depth is the one which fulfills the Bélanger equation shown here. Importantly, the developers of the Type 3 Stilling Basin highlighted that the tailwater, that if the tailwater is less than the conjugate depth, the surface velocities, leaving the pool are high, the jump action is impaired and there is a greater chance for scar downstream. The original USBR Type 3 Stilling Basin is used for relatively small hydraulic structures. As most USBR dissipator design, the top three requirements are stringent and include a substantial factor of safety. The performances of the hydraulic jam stilling basin top three was recently tested with an upstream step chute, and a different buffer block shape was introduced into the stilling basin top three to allow higher inflow velocity on larger unit discharge. Both enhancements are discussed here in complement of the first video, part 1. A stepped chute is basically a steep spillway chute with a staircase invert. The construction of the steps along the spillway channel assists with the energy dissipation, thus reducing the size of the downstream stilling structure. At the downstream end of a step chute, the velocity and fraud number are significantly lower than for a smooth invert design, with the same upstream head, chute slope on unit discharge, owing to the energy dissipation performances of the steps. With a stepped chute, the row of chute blocks at the upstream end of the Stilling Basin Type 3 is replaced by the last chute step, as sketched here. For the row of buffer blocks, the new block shape was selected to generate supercavitation around each block for high inflow conditions, while preventing cavitation damage on the block itself. Cavitation is the formation of an transient collapse of vapor bubble that can produce very high forces, cause surface damage, and generate intense noise. The type of damage is a function of the cavitation typology and surface material properties. The cavitation damage inception starts with a series of individual pits also called cavitation pitting. Supercavitation uses cavitation effects to create a gas-filled cavity within the flowing water. Applications run from fluid dynamics of high-speed water vehicles as well as the aerospace industry. With the Stilling Basin Top 3, the supercavitating buffer blocks have basically the same frontal area as the original buffer blocks. The new Cut bar design, seen here, was developed with sharp edge at the upstream end for flow separation and with cutaway on the side on top surfaces to prevent cavitation attachment onto the buffer. When supercavitating, the supercavitation bubble will envelop the entire buffer block. With high inflow velocity on when the buffer blocks are supercavitating, some rounds are placed in between the buffer blocks to lift the cavitation away from the stilling basin floor without causing overtopping of the basin side walls. 
when the buffer blocks are not supercavitating, that is for smaller structure, the floor ramps in between the blocks may be removed for simplicity and cost efficiency. The performances of the stilling basin with the row of supercavitating buffer blocks on ramp appear to be less dependent on the tailwater conditions than the traditional buffer block configuration. The enhanced stilling basin type 3 was first developed for the secondary spillway of the Folsom Dam with a stepped chute on supercavitating baffle blocks. The design unit discharge was 70 square meters per second, with a maximum specific discharge of 163 square meters per second, requiring a longer stilling basin. The supercavitating baffles were successfully tested in a low ambient pressure chamber with flow condition corresponding to full-scale velocity in the range of 26 to 37 meters per second. Compared to the original hydraulic jam stilling basin type 3, some key features of the enhanced stilling basin type 3 include a larger range of inflow unit discharge, higher inflow velocities, and a lesser sensitivity on the tailwater conditions. The enhanced basin type 3 has been further tested successfully with stepped chutes, and some improved hydraulic performances with the new buffer blocks were observed. Finally, the design engineer must ensure that the hydraulic jump telebasing can operate safely for a wide range of flow conditions, damages including scour and cavitation to the basin and to the downstream natural bed may occur for a number of reasons listed here. The design of hydraulic jump energy dissipator on the stilling basin type 3, including its recent design development, constitute a basic application of the equation of conservation of mass, conservation of momentum, and conservation of energy in open channels, directly relevant to the design of energy dissipator for hydraulic structure. This is further discussed in a number of relevant YouTube video movies in the same channel.